Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about the veritables irregularis. So they're irregular because they don't follow the same conjugation rules that I last spoke about in my previous vid video. Instead they follow these endings, well only some of them do, a, iste, o, imos, ieran, and eran. Now notice that this time we don't have two separate groups, one group, and they don't have accents either. So here I'm going to give you some examples of some verbs that are irregular in the preterite form. Tener, estar, hacer, poder, poner, and decir. Now they're irregular also because usually we only change the ending when we conjugate into the preterite form, but these verbs we have to change the beginning and the ending. And here are how the beginnings change. Now this may seem a bit confusing, but I want to go through an example. You have to memorize how these beginnings change, and they're different for each one. Now, for tener, the beginnings change into tuv. And if I wanted to do yo, I would just add the ending for yo, which is an e. So yo tuve, tu tuviste, el tuvo, nosotros tuvimos, and ellos tuvieron. And that's pretty much the same thing you do for all of them, except for there are some special occasions. For example, hacer is different. Now, our beginning change will be H-I-C. Yo hice, tu hiciste. But for the L A U Z form, you have to watch out, because in this form, you have to change the C into a Z. L hizo. And that's the reason is because this just looks plain weird and sounds pretty weird. I'm not even sure how you would say that. And everything else goes back to a C. So it's only for the L A O Z form. Nosotros hicimos and ellos hicieron. Decir is also strange because for the AOS and AS form, and people often mistake it to be dijeron, but actually this I is act an extra I, and you only use eron to change it. So it's only dijeron, not dijeron. Here's a list of all of the verbs that I just mentioned conjugated in the preterite form. Now this is not an exhaustive list, and there here are some extra verbs. Andar, conducir, querer, saber, traer, and venir. And you just have to practice and keep on practicing your Spanish before you're pretty comfortable with the preterite form and you know which ones are irregular. Now even more irregular verbs in the preterite form are ser, ir, dar, and ver. And what I mean as even more irregular is that they don't follow those preterite endings for irregular forms I just mentioned. Instead they follow their own rule. For example, ser and ir, we have fui, fuiste, Fue, fuimos, and fueron. Now notice that both ser and ir have the same conjugation in the preterite form, but this is not likely to be a clash because remember that preterito is a one-time action, so you're more likely to use ir like to go somewhere than to use ser, which is meant meant to describe something. Also, people get confused between fui and fue. I don't know why, but they just do. And just to remember this, notice that fui has an i, so you're going to use fui for the yo form. And notice that all of these do not have accents. Dar is the second, even more regular form. We have di, diste, dio, dimos, and dijeron. And don't get dijeron confused with dijeron, which is decir. And the third is ver. Vi, viste, dio, vimos, and vieron. No accents. Now for the imperfecto, it's much more simpler because we only have three verbos irregulares, tres verbos irregulares, and those are ser, we have era, tu eras, el era, nosotros eramos, and ellos eran. And you have to notice that for the imperfecto, the nosotros form for ser has an accent on the first letter. Ir, iba, yo iba, tu ibas, El iba, nosotros ibamos, and ellos iban, also an accent. Ver. Yo veía, tú veías, él veía, nosotros veíamos, and ellos veían. So I hope you learned something today, and just practice your Spanish.